Realistically, if you're a Gymshark athlete, there is a high likelihood of you being on enhancements. I'm sorry if you don't hear it, but it's the truth. So, it's Tuesday, and we're back again doing another video. Welcome to the channel, if you are new, I have a big forehead. Many would actually call it a five head, sometimes a six head, depends how spicy I'm feeling. So a few weeks ago, obviously I did the Gymshark tier list, which focused on briefly assessing and reviewing the quality of information and content produced by female Gymshark athletes. Today, I'm doing the male version, but it's gonna be slightly different. So obviously I came into this with the same idea of let's look at the quality of information and content they're producing, and I came to a realization that it seems to me that females tend to produce a lot more informative content and workout based footage, whereas the male Gymshark athletes are primarily posing, tensing and curling in their content. So, so I, I kind of got a bit stuck, so I spoke to the tier film mods in the Discord, which is somewhere, and I went through some previous YouTube comments, and it was suggested that I do a Gymshark Natty or Not list, so that's the direction this video is going to take. I'm very much a believer in it's a personal choice, you do you, but there are things you have to consider before taking that leap, i.e. weigh up the risks to the rewards, is it worth it? Only you can make that decision. If you are gonna go down the enhancement route, don't claim Natty when you're not. That's a recipe for a downward spiral of your viewers, especially the younger ones when you're looking at body image, mental health, and self-esteem. Sure, you may sell more supplements, but for the sake of negatively impacting your viewers, is it really worth it? I'm not saying jump out and admit to doing this or admit to doing this. It's no one's business. Just don't say anything about it. Obviously, I have no way of verifying whether I'm correct or not. This is merely my opinion, based on the research I've done and my own knowledge having been in the industry for many years. Obviously, the hat last week was a, was a hit. It was a banger. If you haven't seen the video last week, click on the last video, have a look at the hat. Absolute belter. And I figured, considering the natty defenders of the universe are going to come out here and call me a joke for making these claims, this would be a very appropriate hat to wear. It makes my forehead, I look like an egg. We split into five sections. Sauce Lord, likely saucy, unsure, likely natty, and natty dog 9000. We're starting off strong, C-Bum, Chris Bumstead. A beautiful man with a stupendous physique. Oftentimes when I'm doing my three by 10 go heavy cable kickbacks, I imagine Chris himself is there, holding my glutes and commanding them to grow, just like C.T. Fletcher would. But obviously he's Mr. Olympia, which means one thing. Straight to the top of the list, Source Lord. Matt Ogus, he used to put out top tier information. His diet advice, top tier. Execution of movements, phenomenal. Competed in Muscle Mania, which used to be the fake natty federation of the world back in the day. Big traps, rounded delts, mad conditioning, high likelihood of enhancements, but I'm very confident that I'd slap him straight at the top of the list as a fake natty. I love the guy, but I'm just saying how it is. Chris Lovado, same thing, Muscle Mania. Size, very achievable naturally, as you can see. Rounded delts are a bit sus. Conditioning is pretty madness, considering he does claim to be a natty dog. But for that reason, I'm going to slap him down to the likely saucy, although I'm not 100% sure. I could go either way. Steve Cook, another beautiful man. I mean, look at that face. I met him a few times. I'm looking him. So we him. He comes over, he goes, do you want to grab a picture? And I'm there like, Steve, honestly. Tiffany and I didn't even start at this point. He already knew who I was. I said, Steve, you want a picture of me? Of course you have a picture of me. Go on, hop in. I'd like to take, take a picture. But again, Mr. Olympia competitor, gym shark athlete, 19 inch arms, if not more, when lean. Top of the list. David Late. See, David's a tricky one because in some pictures, I'm just there like, my homie, you are so enhanced, it's a joke. Disgustingly strong dude. Hangs around with the likes of Dylan McKenna, who I'm going to cover later. But in other pictures, I'm there like, that is like an achievable physique naturally. Based on my gut feeling, that's influenced by his physique, his strength and the people he hangs around with, I'm, I'm gonna have to go to the likely saucy. And quickly, I'm gonna have to interrupt you just for a second. You've been absolutely annihilating the light goals at the moment. I, I don't really know where to go with them because I asked for 250, you give me over a thousand and I genuinely can't express how thankful I am. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. The more engagement videos get, the more likely it's gonna be pushed to new people, which is what we love to see. So thank you so much for that. So we're gonna go with it. We're gonna bump it up. We're gonna go with 300 likes. So that shows me that you do like this type of content and you want to see more of it. And you, that you like these types of hats. If you haven't already i'd really appreciate if you would consider subscribing perhaps you're new to the channel click the red button down below it's it's free a little bell next week get notified when i upload every week you can also consider telling your friends your family your pets see if they want to watch tfnl videos and perhaps subscribe and support the channel too i'd really appreciate it at the end of the video you know i'm going to drop in comment question of the week hang around for that and if you have a question you want me to answer at the end of next video drop it down below in the comment section i won't keep you any longer we'll crack on with the rest of the video matt does fitness uh Fillion actually just released a video covering matt does fitness and whether he thinks he's fake nephew or not to i agree with everything Fillion said a contributing factor to this is the fact that he literally 
literally makes a living from looking good. It's really hard to maintain that kind of level of conditioning year round. He's a likely source lord. Jamal Browner, powerlifter, stupid strong. His deadlift for not to us, all his lifts are absolutely incredible. His deadlift, especially, that's how I got to know who he was. I don't think he ever claims Natty. As far as I'm aware, he competes in the Untested Federation. Pretty obvious what's going on. He is a source lord 9000. You're going to see from this list, I'm going to butcher so many names, it's a joke. Jeff. Kamalo, I'm really bad names, always have been. Based on his shape, has phenomenal genetics. Bloody fantastic physique. Sometimes I look at him, I'm there like, well, that's very naturally attainable. And then again, I'm like, oh, what's going on here? It's hard because realistically, if you're a Gymshark athlete, there is a high likelihood of you being on enhancements. I'm sorry if you don't hear it, but it's the truth. I'm not saying that's a negative thing. It's merely an observation and actually more of an opinion. But it's also an opinion that's heavily shared around the industry. I'm going to go unsure. So Will Tennyson, based on what I've heard about his content, it's good stuff. But again, I don't really know enough about him as a person, as a content creator, to really give an opinion. Strong dude. Big dude in great shape. Greg Desai actually did a video on this recently. Personally, I'd probably lean towards likely Natty. Again, I find it really hard to make definitive statements of you are enhanced or you are natural. This is a name butcher if I've ever seen one. Anome Egger? I don't know. I'm useless. Why am I even here? Good question. That's enhanced if I've ever seen it. Big dude, great shape. Honestly, bloody good shape. He looks, he looks amazing. I'm merely giving my opinion, thinking that he's enhanced because he's stronger than I am, considering I've only ever benched four plates for one rep. For that reason, we could go with Source Lord. Anthony Mantello, 19 years old, young dude in the industry. He's obviously making moves. He's got Gymshark sponsorship. Fair play to him. See, the thing you have to consider when you're forming opinions like this is who they are surrounded by. Zoo culture, especially recently, has become almost like the hub of enhanced TikTok fitness like creators. Obviously, I don't know if half these people claim Natty or not. Most of them do. 19 years old, regardless of how long you've been training, look at the conditioning, look at the round shoulders. Likely Juice Lord. Ross Edgley, he's an athlete. That's what I'm saying. He's a swimmer. Big dude. He's in great shape. Obviously, but he's extremely fit as well. I'm going to lean towards unsure because I, to myself, I am quite frankly, I am unsure. Zach Perna obviously looks after himself, obviously trains a lot, and he's pretty well conditioned, especially considering he looks like he's more towards a bulk at this stage. Do I think that he is natural? I'm going to lean towards no. Eight year transformation, he looks bloody phenomenal. I'm not saying he's on cycle at the moment. I'm merely saying that I believe at some point in his career, he has likely used an enhancement of some kind. It's a likely saucy thing, I believe. Dylan McKenna. Back in the day, he used to train with David Lade. Don't know if they're as close anymore, but they used to be like best friends. He's in a relationship with College Clean Eating, who is someone I am due to do a video on in the future. Do I think he's actually enhanced? Straight off the bat, enhance. Size of him, conditioning, which is also kind of what contributed to some of the decision towards my opinion on David. If you're surrounded by five enhanced people, there is a high likelihood you are going to be enhanced. And if you were to surround yourself with five natural people, there are three kind of primary points that really balloon when you're on enhancements for most people. Rear delts, traps, upper chest. The theory is surrounding androgen receptors in these areas and how obviously anabolic steroids being androgenic cause mass growth to those areas. Look at the size of this man's rear delts. That's kind of what gives the boulder shoulder kind of capped delt look it's the fat rear delts as well they do contribute so when you're training your delts you want to have good looking delts don't neglect the rear delts not just for injury prevention purposes but also for aesthetic purposes and it's for that reason we're chucking him to the top of the list ryan terry another olympic competitor from back in the day but again if you're on the olympia stage you're enhanced it's just straight why wouldn't you be he's a source lord lex griffin he's a dude in great shape he's also a dude that used to get very angry in line with people who would call him out for being a fake natty if something offends you especially to the degree where you have to then retaliate in such a manner it likely applies to you i'm not going to make a definitive statement i'm going to say i believe at some point in his life he has taken some enhancements obi vincent look at this man's legs do i think he's enhanced it's a tricky question i'm gonna lean towards yes based on how large he is and also the fact that how lean he is i guess it's like a, a subtle rule of thumb in the fitness world which is you can be two of three things big lean and natty you can't be all three for that reason i'm gonna lean towards likely saucy uzoma obilo imagine a man with two degrees can't even pronounce the name very well affiliate has done a video on him years ago i believe basically stating that yeah he's enhanced and yeah i'd agree it's a likely saucy thing lex little i think this guy is really young i'm not sure i'm pretty certain he is 265 kilos at less than 200 pounds body weight that is a madness elbow to wrist positioning solid back position good elevation when taking the breath in is something i try and avoid when you elevate the scapula essentially like shrug up when inhaling 
you're likely inhaling to your chest rather than your stomach. You've got to breathe into the stomach as if you're trying to push against the belt. The way I like to kind of talk about core bracing is sucking as much air as you can to the stomach, push your stomach out like you have a food baby. You know, if you've just eaten loads of food and you're feeling a bit bloated and you push it out to see how big your food baby is, do that and then tense and lock everything in. There are drills you can do to help with core bracing, like 90-90 breathing and things like that. It's a likely saucy thing. Nathan McCallum, massive delts. Traps are kind of lingering in there on the, towards the natty side. It's a tricky one, but that's very much determined by genetics. Just because you're on an enhancement doesn't mean you're gonna get those big blown up traps. Do I think he's enhanced? Although I'd probably lean towards likely saucy. I'm gonna say unsure, just because I'm kind of on the fence. I don't wanna say likely saucy unless I'm pretty certain. There are a few changes I probably would make. Matt does fitness, I think he probably is there with the saw sword. Uzuma, I'm gonna go saucy. I don't know why I put him in likely saucy. Is there any element of doubt? Not really. You know what? You're up there. Everyone on this likely saucy list is more than likely enhanced. There's just that few percentage I'm a bit like, mm, not sure. Am I just being salty because I don't look as good as them? Will Tennyson, you know what? I'm actually gonna drop him down to Natty Dog. I, I'm pretty certain he's Natty. I don't spend too much time on it because you spend too much time looking at something, you just create problems that aren't there. Remember that when you're looking at yourself in the mirror. You spend too much time looking at something, you will create problems that aren't there. I'll probably change my mind if I look at it again in five minutes time but at this exact moment we're going to go with this and my opinions are subject to change upon further analysis in a future video like i said if you want to go enhancements that's a personal choice you do you but also consider why are you going on them? Is it coming from a place of insecurity? Is it coming from a place of wanting to achieve a physique that you know is not achievable naturally? You've got to ask yourself these questions. But again, this video is merely my opinion and you may not agree with it. In fact, you may disagree with it, but regardless, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And also, I know we got to the end of the video and there's no puppy. The puppy's not here at the moment. He's away for the weekend and I'm, I, I miss him too. But he will be back in the next video. Please forgive me, I should have considered this. I do have a cat as well that I was gonna try and feature, but I haven't seen him all day. He probably hates me to be honest, and wearing a silly hat. And now we're here, we're at the end of the video, we're gonna talk about comment question of the week. Taryn T asks, do you think these influencers are doing more workouts than what they're truly telling us? So we think that they will look like them by doing their program, when in reality, even if we follow it to a T, we will not look anywhere near how they do. A lot of times influencers create programs because they want to sell them, doesn't mean they necessarily do them. Sure, there are aspects that they probably incorporate in their own training, like exercises. It's highly unlikely that they have achieved their results from following that program. And they're producing an eight-week program. Do you think they've achieved eight years of results following a single eight-week program? They're more than likely claiming they're doing this program to look the way they do, to encourage you to buy into their program and put money in their pockets, essentially. Again, doesn't apply to everybody. And there are also other things to consider that play a huge role in how you look and the development of your muscle mass, your conditioning, all sorts, which is your genetics. And they vary from person to person. But that's it, that's the video. As I said, when I interrupted you earlier on, 300 likes on the video and I'll create more content like this. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell next to it, you know, the tick and the hats that every week and the, why would you want to see this and this and that madness. At the end of every video, I do comment question of the week in which I answer a question from the comment section of the previous week. Drop a comment question down below and I'll answer it next week. Thank you so much for tolerating me. Thank you so much for tolerating TFNL. And thank you so much for tolerating the video.